The first step to making dough craft magnets is making the dough cookies. Please see my video on how to make, cut, and bake dough for dough crafts. These are the ones I'm going to use here. Now in that video, I also used some dough paste to cover the cracks in this butterfly. So I wanted to show you up close what it looks like um, after the dough paste. You can see it's really rough. So the next step to that is to take some sandpaper and then you're just going to smooth out all those rough edges all over the cookies. Okay. I just wanted to show you how it looks before and after sanding. So the two on the bottom have already been sanded here. Okay, I've sanded all of my dough cookies and I wanted to show you my paints. This is my box of paints. Um, we use acrylic paints when painting these and I use the bottles because they last forever. These, I have four of these, used it a few times and they're completely dried out, all four of them. The bottles, they last forever. This one I bought in November 2007. I wrote the date on it and it's still good. I'll open it and show you. Okay. There we go. It's still good. And this is the color we use for skin. It's called Skin Tone. Let me see I don't know if you can see that. Skin Tone. Anyways, so to find that in the craft section, I like to go to Walmart and buy all my stuff there. This one I bought for just a quarter on sale. It normally cost about four bucks. And this one was one fifty. So go to the craft section and look in the clearance. This is what we use after painting, you're going to varnish it and so it's nice and glossy. I got this for $1.50 and normally they're $9.88. So yeah, clearance is a good way to go. Okay, I started painting my girls here in my skin tone paint. And I just want to paint... Um, the part where the skin would be exposed, like the arms and the hands and the legs. And then you just paint the top side and then you set it down on the plate here. And then you are going to let it sit and dry for an hour. That's how long it takes. And then if you think it needs more paint after an hour, you can add more paint or you can just go back, go to the back and paint the back. So I'm just going to set that down. If you're painting something with a loop, um, I'm painting this cross, a gold color. Um, and I, I have to paint the bottom, so I'm going to place one of these ornament hooks on it, and then I can hold it from there, see, and then I can paint the rest of it. And this one you don't have to wait for one hour for one side to dry. You just flip it over, paint the other side. And then you can just hang it to dry for an hour like that. Okay, so after painting your ornaments or your objects here, you're going to take your varnish and then 
make sure the paint has dried before you apply the varnish and then you're just going to put one very thin coat of varnish and you have to be careful to uh, pop any bubbles that you see forming on top because they'll harden like that I'm just doing one side because um, you're gonna have to put it, set it down to dry, and if it's wet, it's gonna stick to the plate. After varnishing, you can attach one of these three-quarter inch magnets that you get in the craft section, and you can attach it to your ornament with. Elmer's glue, but if you live in extreme cold areas like I do, the glue stiffens up and these magnets just fall right off. That's what happened here. So I like to use super glue. And that's my super glue. And for the magnets, there's one side that's not magnetic and one that is. And it's a good idea to test it, maybe with a paper clip, a paper clip right here. Here it's, it's sticking, but the other side doesn't stick. So that's the side you will glue to your ornament here. Okay, so you just apply a small amount of glue here. And then you attach your magnet. And you might need to hold it in place for a few because it's a little slippery. And then you just set it down to dry, like so. My kids sold these at a craft fair, and that's why we have a logo here that my brother created for us. Thanks, Alvin. And I wanted to share it with you because it tells you how to take care of these magnets.